excited for you. And I hope you have an amazing year filled with health, spiritual wealth, happiness, adventure, love, and exciting new opportunities. Woo! Now, if you're like me, you might be thinking about New Year's resolutions right now. Maybe you're feeling a little bad about the goals you didn't accomplish last year, or a little anxious about the ones you might screw up this year. Either way, take a deep breath and keep this one tip in mind, less is better. If I try and tackle more than three big goals a year, there's a really good chance I won't be successful. Plus, I'll burn myself out pushing and trying, and that is just not sexy. So get clear on what's essential and excites you, and don't let your eyes be bigger than your goal-accomplishing tummy. Too many goals in my tummy, ow! But regardless of what your goals are, today I wanna take a big step back and focus on some game-changing habits that will support any goal you set. Number one, build in buffer time. Now, I don't know about you, but I often underestimate how long a project will take. Let's see, painting the living room? Yeah, I could probably do that in a day or so. Wrong, no. If you're like me, you do things thoroughly. Well, that means you need more time to do your best work and be your best self. Otherwise, you'll steal that time from other areas, like your self-care and general well-being. Mm -mm. Either that, or you'll quit halfway because you realize that you just couldn't pull it off. Now, sometimes quitting is okay and even necessary but I bet we can both agree that it's just better to be realistic and then build in buffer time as a safety net. So what does buffer time look like? Well, it depends on the situation and project, and it also depends on your health. So it could be 15 extra minutes before a meeting or a few extra months. Either way, you don't know what you don't know. Stuff pops up, shizzle goes down. You don't know what surprises and roadblocks life has in store. So plan for them with buffer time. Number two, try adding before subtracting. Hmm. So let's say you wanna improve your diet this year, but you're worried about follow through or feeling deprived. Well, here's a good tip. Start adding more of the good stuff into your daily eating plan. Don't worry about stripping things out yet, just add. Adding more water will reduce the amount of soda you drink. Adding some fruit after dinner will keep you from the cookies. Adding more veggies to your breakfast, lunch, and dinner will edge out the less beneficial choices. And yes, you can add veggies to your breakfast by juicing and making smoothies. Oh my goodness, look what's here. Crazy sexy juice with juice and smoothie recipes. So many, so good. Are you picking up what I'm laying down? Focus on adding goodness into your life this year, into your diet, your lifestyle practices, your work. Goodness will fill you up so much that you'll have less room for the stuff that doesn't serve your body or spirit. Before you know it, you're feeling better and your health goals are in sight. Number three, focus on progress, not perfection. Now, while the idea of wanting to do something perfectly shows that you care about quality, it can also be destructive. In truth, there's no such thing as perfection, and our search for it often sucks the joy out of life. Plus, it can even keep us from trying in the first place. It won't be perfect, so why bother? I won't be good enough, so forget it. <laughs> So I wanna encourage you to forget perfection and focus on progress instead. Perfection is rigid and lacks personality. Progress is open-minded and inclusive. One stems from fear, the other from love. Plus progress allows for delicious detours that can teach us so many things. When you focus on progress, you'll still get where you wanna go. You'll just do it in a way that's curious, kind, and fun. What could be better? Nothing. So now it's your turn. What are you excited to focus on this year? Let me know in the comments below. Or if you have a successful habit tip or a way of approaching goal setting, tell us about it. I hope this serves you and helps you live like you mean it. 
Remember to go to chriscar.com and sign up for my newsletter. It's filled with tips and advice to help you supercharge your life, plus free gifts just for you. See you soon. Thank you.